news time. It is news time. Let's do some gaming news. So let's kick off with the big one this week, and it is Bioshock 4. This game so far has had more leaks than a busted pipe in Rapture. The very first leak of Bioshock 4 was a while back now, and they say they're going to change the formula to a linear storyline to a much more open world branching storyline, which I think we can all get behind. According to the most recent leak, Bioshock 4 is going to be taking place in the swinging 1960s in a fictional Antarctic city. Now this city may not be just one, but two, because a previous leak of this game showed a map. What does this mean for gameplay if there's two cities to choose from? Hard moral choices that may change your reputation with each city? Perhaps a romantic questline along the lines of Romeo and Juliet as one below loves one above and maybe we can get them together. Who knows what Cloud Chamber and 2K games have in store, but it's set to be released for 2022 and more Bioshock is just a good thing. Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 is finally here. The original island has flipped over to reveal a brand new map and with that comes some brand new original features. Action sliding and shooting. Oh, that, that, that's in Apex Legends, yeah. And ginormous hurricanes with a dynamic weather system. Battlefield 2042. Giant hurricanes and dynamic weather in Battlefield 2042. So. And now you can earn the most valued prize, the Fortnite crown. Remember Fall Guys? Crowns, crowns are in Fall Guys. Oh. Unfortunately, Haze Light Studio, the developers of the fantastic and Game of the Year nomination, It Takes Two. Hi, everyone. Um, I know I said that It Takes Two was a Game of the Year contender, but the Game Awards have been and gone, and it won Game of the Year. <laughs> so good for them. Well done. Have been hit by a cease and desist letter from Take Two Interactive. You know, the guys that develop Grand Theft Auto and other such games. Now, personally, I think this cease and desist letter is absolutely ridiculous because you can tell the difference in the G dang names. If Take Two Interactive really want to go down the line of suing everybody, why don't they sue Marvin Gaye and King Weston for the song that came out a millennia ago called It Takes Two? I wish nothing but luck to Haze Light Studio in this court case because you produce something that is incredible and I hope it doesn't get sullied by this pathetic and stupid lawsuit. So that is just some of the gaming news that has hit the headlines this week and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to show a little bit of love, all you've got to do is hit that like button below me, that subscribe button if you want to see more from us, and that bell icon for all notifications anytime you upload a video or go live with a stream. We do have other social medias and they are in the description of this video in our link tree, which is below me as well. You have a fantastic rest of your day, guys, and I hope to see you on the channel soon. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.